What if I told you that everybody believes in repentance? Maybe that's a big word for you. Uh, maybe you're not a follower of Jesus or faith and you, you say repentance, that doesn't make any sense to me. But now what I wanna do is show you uh, something really neat that uh, we talked about with our church recently that comes up with uh, John the Baptist in Luke chapter three. And Luke chapter three and verse three says that John the Baptist goes into all the country around the Jordan preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. It's his message. Repent uh, simply just means to turn uh, from one way of living to the other, rethink your thinking, whatever it might be. Jesus himself will also, in Mark chapter 1, uh, verse 15, uh, preach, the time has come, Jesus says, the kingdom of God has come near, repent and believe the good news. So uh, John the Baptist is telling people to repent, and then Jesus comes along and he says repent, and again, it's just turn from one way of living to the other way of living. But the thing that's interesting that I've been percolating on, it's a favorite word of mine, is that the world uh, and everybody watching this also thinks that we should repent, uh, turn from one way to the other. And uh, the world outside the Christian faith and maybe outside other faiths as well would say repent from certain ways of thinking and turn to other ones. So instead of thinking you're wrong, uh, there's a popular phrase today that says, oh, speak your truth. You're not wrong. Uh, you have a truth. Uh, maybe they would say, well, you're not in love anymore, so follow your heart. Whatever the situation may be, if you're not in love with it, a person or a job, just trust your heart. Turn from staying in this dead-end job, this bad relationship, and turn to something else. There's also another one that's a new thought to me of that there are cultural norms that you should uh, fit into the existing tribe that you're a part of, a country, a ethnicity, a, maybe a family, expectations. But they would say, the world would say, so turn from that, and the world is plastic. You know, you can form the world around you. And now with technology, you can find people that are like you wherever you are and, and be a part of them. You don't have to worry about your home or your village if you're an ancient person or even your country, find people that agree with you. And there's threads of truth in all of these. Uh, the first one about your wrong and your truth, that there is this difference between the feeling of shame, I am bad, versus guilt, I've done something bad. It's an important thing to pull out. Not in love, changes should be made. <laughs> I, I would say not to find new love, but to act lovingly. And even with norms, uh, no one should feel normal in the world that we live in because it's broken. It doesn't take a believer or a rocket scientist to see that there's problems in the world. But Christ calls us to repent, to turn, to rethink your thinking, to find the right side way to live in an upside down world. <laughs> and, and the way to do it, especially if you're a person of faith, uh, the way not to do it, I would say, would be to tell God, hey, God, you need to tell those people, all those people, you know what I'm talking about, the way that they should turn. We, we should actually ask, as the crowds did, as John the Baptist was preaching this message of repentance in Luke 3.10, it's really wise here, they ask, what should we do? It's the best question. I'm following Christ. Maybe I'm curious about God. I see the brokenness in the world. Okay, God, what should I do? How should I turn? Help me rethink my thinking. That's the one thought for today.